Hey everyone, my name is Olaf and today I'm going to show you how to make a cool fade teleport animation in Blender. And this is a pretty simple tutorial, so let's get started. Now, you want to start off by switching to cycles for better shading and of course for the fading effect. And I'm going to start off by adding a plane and click G, then set to grab it on the set axis. And just a little bit under the cube. We're going to scale it up with S and I'm going to select the lamp and I'm going to delete it with X and I'm going to add a plane instead which is going to be our lighting and I'm going to rotate it with R, G to grab and then S to scale In this tutorial I'm not going to add 3 point lighting so I'm just going to have one lighting source click new and change from diffuse to emission as the material and I'm gonna bump up this bump up the strength to 5 to make it strong enough I have a tutorial on my channel on how to make yeah, proper lighting with three-point lighting so if you want to see that you can just go to that but in this tutorial I'm just gonna add one lighting as you can see here. So let's start adding materials. I'm going to start off with a ground material or the floor. I'm going to make it black. And I'm going to rotate the lighting a little bit. This is up to you. You don't really need to do this a lot. Okay, let's go back to solid mode. And I'm going to select the cube. Now we're going to add a mix shader, which means that we're going to have one transparent one and one diffuse one. And we're going to animate the transition between the transparent one and the uh, diffuse one. So click transparent and diffuse. And as you can see over here, we have a factor. So if we go to rendered mode and we switch between those two, you can see that it fades away and turns into a diffuse one if we pump up the factor a lot. So I'm going to make this one blue, a blue cube. And again, if we change the factor value again, we can make the value go from 1 to 0 and it will disappear because it turns transparent because it has mostly a transparent shader now. Now I'm going to animate this. So I'm going to first keyframe the uh, location or the coordinates so click I to keyframe the coordinates and click I on the factor, on the factor 1 because the animation is going to start off by the cube being visible. Now let's move a few frames forward and again keyframe it I and I so that it's visible from frame 1 to 20. Now let's move forward and it's time to start making it transparent. So let's keyframe it, put the value down to 0 and click I and click I on the location. Now move forward in time on the timeline and click I to keyframe. and click I again and I'm going to move one frame forward to frame 60 and I'm going to start by bumping up the factor to 1 so that we can see the cube and I'm going to click G then shift set to grab it only on the X and the Y axis and I'm going to decrease the factor value again 
and click I and then I on the coordinates so if we move forward in time now and click I on the coordinates then bump up the factor to 1 and click I again we now have a animation where the cube moves, disappears and turns out somewhere else which is really cool okay so now I'm going to make this into a animation so I'm gonna click numpad 0 to go into the camera and go back to solid mode So select the camera and click shift F to go into the fly cam and now we can select where you want the camera to be when you render it so just left click when you know where you have, want to have it and it seems like the animation is within the range of the camera so it looks okay I'm gonna scale up the floor and go to rendered mode we can see how it looks on the camera and it looks great the fading animation works and the teleport animation works so I'm gonna start rendering it so turn off the quality of the resolution to 100% and change the frame range to 1 to 100 so that it's not that long choose where you want to save it I'm just gonna save it on the desktop and choose the kind of file you want to have or the rendering uh, quality of course if you want it or the sampling I'm gonna change it to H264 and MPEG4 which means MP4 and if you want to render it now you can just click animation and it will start rendering it so click animation and it's starting to render and this is what it looks like when it's done and that's it for this tutorial if you want to see more tutorials in this format just go to my channel and thanks for watching